Mamma, the pizza is ready! Oh, come here, Enrique! Come to us! Let us feast! What is happening, everybody? We are in Studio City today, the creme de la creme of neighborhoods in Los Angeles. And in fact, we are in one of the most highly sought after parts, moments in the neighborhood called the Silver Triangle. The Silver Triangle is a collection of homes in the shape of a triangle. Some are original, some are new construction. They range from a million and a half to, I mean, well, you're about to see something special today. And I will say, people love to live here because of its proximity to Ventura Boulevard with a plethora of dining and shopping. You have the farmer's market you could walk to, which is easily one of the best farmer's markets in Los Angeles. And then of course, if you have kids, the Carpenter School District, which is top tier for public schools in LA. Now, we're gonna go see one of the most special homes on the market, the newest home that was constructed as of last month in Studio City. Rob Diaz's scrumptious Scandinavian A-frame. Check this out, it's gonna be gone before you know it. Well, what are you doing outside the gates? Come on in. Come on. Seems like you're focused on something behind me. This is just my friend. A manzanilla olive tree that was craned in to be in this place in a raised garden bed. No less than $50,000 for the tree alone, let alone labor costs to install. Now come on, follow me. You're going down a path I can't follow. And as you follow, notice the Folletti limestone, Italian limestone that is throughout the hardscaping of the front yard and how well it complements the Alaskan cedar siding of the house. Mm. Yep, that's a 12 foot glass door. One of the most fun rooms in a house, I'd have to say is the powder room and you can find that right around the corner so I'll let you take a look. All right, we're done with the powder room, now follow me because the rest of the house is to die for. That's what we've been waiting for! You have two courtyards that are accessible from your bedrooms and open these windows it's just like prime time outdoor indoor living welcome to my favorite room personally because you get to do everything you get to eat you get to lounge you get to entertain all in this beautiful space the light comes through the walls in this home are layered in plaster by Clayworks. every single wall is use a tech plastering technique that just gives this space so much texture, so much warmth, and oh my goodness, how about this silver travertine waterfall island that you see here? Utilized as the backsplash and also caught in this fireplace. Unbelievable. It has grooves Groovy. in it that are just such a raw, it's raw feeling that I really haven't seen before. To the kitchen, Thermador appliances, all white oak throughout. It just really goes well. The colors, look at this, everything flows. You're gonna have to pay attention to all the details in the water fixtures. This is by Waterworks. They are a company that specializes in luxury uh, water fixtures, and you will notice that they just add so much character and uniqueness to every space that they're set in. Architecturally, you really do have to pay attention to these courtyards. You have the hallway that runs through, dual courtyards on both sides. This is probably my favorite one. This is gonna be your outdoor al fresco. Al fresco, say it with me. Al fresco, dining, listening to the soothing sounds of a fountain behind you. Mama, the pizza is ready. Oh, Mama, how you make a dinner so delicious? Eh? That is kind of what I picture happening here on a nightly basis, especially those sweet summer nights. Awesome. Well, now that we did that, let's just get out of here. Coming out into our main outdoor space through these Fleetwood sliding doors. Talking about Fleetwood real quick, this ain't an ad, but they are the name for sliding doors in luxury real estate. They make the easiest aluminum sliding doors to open, I will say that. Look at this. Oh my God! Right? 
teak decking. Teak is nice because it's so durable um, to outdoor weather and moisture, and if you can afford it, use it because it'll last the longest. Into your lap, I would call it a lap pool just because of its dimensions. Hey, that this is probably eight or so feet in width and length. Ooh, I'm gonna stop saying measurements that I don't really know, but this is a probably like a 30 by eight, I think. Um, salt water capable. Fuck, I don't know if it's salt water capable. I can't say that if, if I don't know it. This is a black bottom pool with solid limestone coping. Special. One last thing to note while we're out here is this beautiful brass outdoor shower. I'm obviously not gonna turn these knobs. Nice. How great to get out of the pool, wash off, head in for some al fresco, al fresco dinner. All right, <laughs> inside we go. Into one of our downstairs bedrooms and you can tell just nice ceiling height. This is where they did add a little bit of color which is always beautiful to see. So it's not all neutral. Um, and into the bathroom. So the stone, how these little squares are all laid, attention to detail. We have a Carrera marble uh, sink here, vanity, with waterwork fixtures once again. And inside to the theme of the stone that carries in to the shower. Upstairs we go. Look at this stairwell. Oh, wow. Just the space in here just feels Powerful, beautiful chandelier above. One detail you'll notice throughout this home, look at all of these brass receptacles. Literally throughout the entire home, it's just fun. It's just a good time to touch, touch. turn on, to dim, to turn off, to flick, to push. It's different and that's exactly what you get with this house. Now we're just gonna swoop on in here to our secondary bedroom, a much more light while facing the main street here, tree-lined, and access to a just a killer outdoor patio. Why don't we just go check that out since I'm talking about it. Rare to find outdoor patio spaces this big, and uh, again, Alaskan cedar, so you're dealing with areas that are gonna get water, but hey, that's why you put this stuff, because it is resilient to fungi, moisture, um, nicks, bangs, knocks. It's hard. <laughs> Follow me through here to your primary corridor. I will call it that because the entire wing of this house is dedicated to the primary suite, including this closet, which is a full room. Coming through here, you'll find the bedroom layered in a white oak headboard that flows seamless, seamless, seamlessly into the ceiling. Bronze chandelier up top, and also like, here, let me, let me show you. Water works. Water works. I sure hope it does. Coming in clutch. Unbelievable, and how it just it pizzazzes off of this Carrera marble is special. Into your freestanding tub, notice just how the materials are just so organic and they seamlessly just blend. I can't say seamless again. Seamless. Notice how the builder used such organic materials. You're going from the wide white oak plank floors into the stoned shower throughout the entire facility, is what I'll call this. And then you have the Carrera marble. Unbelievable, really, really beautiful. And one last look from your private patio here. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. This is special. All right, well, we're wrapping up here. I hope you enjoyed that because I sure did. After that, I gotta think, it's like Scandinavia meets the Italian Tuscan side, all residing right where it should be in one of the most sought after pockets in Studio City. Until next time. Oh, you're still here. Well, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Just me watching my videos on loop, trying to get the algorithm to kick in. <laughs> Just subscribe for me, please, while you're here. And uh, I promise I'll have more quality videos coming your way so I don't have to sit here and watch my own videos. Okay.